Hello, it's Lisa Grinchow once again. Let's talk about the lion, as you can see on my right foot. The leopard. So you can see the black leopard on my right arm. The eagle, which stands for the United States. The United States, which is what where I hail from. And the bear. So you can see the word Isa. And you can see the tattoo of the lion. So I've shown you the lion, the leopard, the eagle, and the bear. We're going to take the word Esau plus the ram. We're going to take the lowercase u, turn it upside down, and it becomes a lowercase n. We're going to add these words, these letters together, and that gives you the name Marnisa. Marnisa refers to Marnisa Reed. And the D backwards becomes a B. Add those letters together, and you get the word bear, which means bear, which means revelations. I have shown you the lion, the leopard, the eagle, and the bear. What I want to talk to you about now is I want to talk to you about Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, people, is the forbidden fruit. Sri Lanka is the fig. And Sri Lanka is located in the Indian Ocean. What we're going to do is, the word Indian means red. Ocean means ocean. Shin means to stand, or it means leg. So, Indian ocean means red stand. Something that stands, people, is a tree. So, the Indian ocean is the red tree. Red refers to Satan. Tree refers to the knowledge of good and evil. The word good and evil. We take the first letters, which is G-A-E, that gives us the word gay, which is gay. The word fig the Roman numeral I means one. First letter of the alphabet is A. So fig becomes fag, which is gay. So the tree of the knowledge of good and evil is the tree of the knowledge of the fig or the tree of the knowledge of the fag or tree of the knowledge of the gay. As I explained to you in previous videos, India and Pakistan are one. Pakistan represents the red dragon. The red dragon means red garden. The red garden is the garden of Eden because Cain slew Abel there and the blood droplet was on the, the blood was crying out to God from the ground. Red dragon also means red garden means Jesus sweat blood droplets in a garden when he prayed. India is standing, as you can see, this is India, and as you can see, she is standing. So, India represents the red tree. The word Indian Ocean, Indian means red. The word Ocean, okay, Indian means red. The word ocean, what we do is we take the C, which is the third letter of the alphabet, and we add that to the A, which is the first letter of the alphabet. That gives us four, and the fourth letter of the alphabet is D. We get rid of those letters that we've used, and that gives us E. We take the D. 
O N N. That is Eden. So Indian Ocean becomes Red Eden. Red Garden of Eden. So as she stands here in the Indian Ocean, the red tree is in the midst of the garden, which Indian Ocean is the garden of Eden. India itself is the red tree. Sri Lanka is the fig from that tree. So India represents the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Sri Lanka represents the fruit from that tree. So the Indian Ocean itself is the Garden of Eden. India is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, standing in the midst of the garden. Sri Lanka is the fig, the fruit, the forbidden fruit from that tree. So Sri Lanka is the fig. It is the fruit you must not eat of of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So the fruit you must not eat of, you must not eat of the knowledge of the gay woman, as you can see, here she is. See the woman standing there, the gay woman, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. You must not eat of the fruit of it. So you must not eat of the knowledge of the gay woman or you will be like God, knowing the difference between good and evil. The word evil people is live. Jesus lives. So evil means live, means Jesus lives. So means Jesus. So you must not eat of the knowledge of the gay woman, or you too will be like God, knowing the difference between good and evil, good and Jesus, we have two O's in the word good, so one crosses out the other, it becomes God and Jesus. So you must not eat of the knowledge of the gay woman, or you too will be like God, knowing the difference between God and Jesus. That is, you must not eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, or you too will be like God, knowing the difference between good and evil. Thank you.